Hi there, this is John Kenworthy. What's better today? Now, how do you lead up more effectively? It is difficult. However, tip number five is to invest in the relational chemistry. And you do this by listening to your leader's heartbeat. See, the only way to influence people, those above you, is by connecting with them. And relationship skills define 360 leaders and separate them from other leaders. Remember, people won't go along with you if they can't get along with you. So you listen to your leader's heartbeat. What is their passion? What do they constantly repeat in repetition? What is their mission? And what do they request of you? And do they ask? Second thing is to support your leader's vision. Promote your leader's dream and your leader will promote you. Every time another person in the organisation embraces the vision and passes it down, it's like giving the vision fresh legs. Earn your leader's trust. Trust is the foundation of every relationship. Remove trust from the relationship and that relationship is in trouble. And lastly, learn to work with your leader's weaknesses. Yeah, I know your leader's got weaknesses. Learn to work with them. You cannot make someone feel important if you secretly feel he's a nobody. Remember, perception is projection. Whatever you believe and perceive about a person will be communicated. And in the same way, you cannot build a positive relationship with your boss if you disrespect them because of their weaknesses. Everyone has weak areas or blind spots, including you, and yeah, including me. Why not learn how to work with them? Go and have a great day. Bye.